Hey guys, John here. I've got a bit of a cable management problem and as anyone who's into technology knows, cables, they're a part of life, but their default state over time is to turn into a pile of spaghetti. So what I'm gonna do today is to take some time and just organize my cables, get everything neat, but keep everything practical as well. I don't want to go super minimalist, but I just want to make everything nice and organized and much nicer to work with and also look at. Here I have some cable trunking that I want to put along the wall here to hide these cables going from one side of the room to the other. So I figure I can put one along here and another along here and get the cables hidden behind these drawers. The next thing I want to do is move my printer from here to in my little storage server room. And I also want to move my computer from down here onto this these drawers right next to me. That seems like a more suitable spot and I can definitely organize everything much better if it's off the floor. One thing I can definitely see now that I've got my computer out is it's it's gotten a bit dusty over time, you know? And uh, it's probably worth me taking it outside and getting the blower onto it. Now, inevitably, these headphone and the microphone cables are going to be a little bit in the way because I want them free for being able to walk around the room. As you can see, if I grab these headphones, I can carry them a fair distance away and I like that level of freedom. That's worth the cable being kind of hanging. But that, that's an exception, and uh, who knows, one day I'll get fed up with that and get some Bluetooth headphones, <laughs> we'll see. Now my idea to keep USB cables down is uh, to use this little USB hub to hold a USB mouse and keyboard wireless adapter. Now I can very easily keep track of where this is, I won't lose it easy, and I can also just plug it into any computer and use it. Now it's the following day and 
and I've been using this for about a day. What I ended up doing was turning my computer this way and I did put the printer back here simply because I thought my, my computer's better off this way anyway. It's, it's, it's a better way to have it and I had plenty of room for the printer so why not bring it back? Uh, right now I've got a, a ultrasonic de uh, humidifier running here to increase the humidity and even with all this all this steam running for about uh, one hour now if I go over here you see the humidity just 50% it's incredibly dry here in uh, Melbourne Australia but anyway this desk is is uh, going well and uh, having this wireless set up with the, the keyboard and mouse works out very convenient because uh, if I want to change the keyboard and mouse over to a new computer I just pop this USB hub out and plug it into a new computer and the USB hubs work really well even in the computer BIOSes and UEFIs even in uh, older computer BIOSes and UEFIs they work quite uh, seamless so over here I've got a whole bunch of wires and it becomes a bit more difficult to wire manage or, or cable manage this Mac because you've got the one, the one cable doing everything. You could improve it by having a, a longer USB cable here and hiding some of this stuff underneath the desk so you could use extension cable then hide. That's a possible solution. Yeah, I'll give that a go. See what we can come up with with that, those couple of uh, ideas. Well, I won't be winning any awards for cable management going any less than this is simply going to be unpractical this is this is as good as it'll probably get and uh, definitely an improvement over what it was from here there's not much difference because the they're, they're hidden anyway they're behind the laptop but I do want to be able to use this space a bit just being able to put the iPad down here or something you know, very simple, it's a bit, of, a bit more table, I can put things on a table. So what I was thinking was I could run the US, uh, run this on a USB extension cable and to keep it around here, then I could have a HDMI input to my computer, effectively HDMI input to OBS. This, uh, this USB 3 cable doesn't go too long. I mean, it's just making it here, but th this is working. Uh, I tried the the second USB port I tried worked. The first one didn't seem to work for some reason. Uh, the first one I tried was also a shared port with USB-C port on my motherboard, but it, anyway, the second port I tried working. Uh, if I go around to the back of my computer here, a bit tight. But you can see, first one I tried was this one, didn't work. Second one I tried, this one is blue on the cable, is it? It worked. Now, uh, keeping it practical, you know, there's, there's less cables for sure, especially on the floor there, but keeping it practical, I'm still putting things on top of here because I've got four USB ports here and I like USB ports, these, these are good. And uh, this is a flat surface, and flat surfaces are going to have things put on them. So you can run the hard, uh, external hard drive. I've been backing up uh, random stuff off my NAS to this because uh, you know backing up stuff is important. So I can also charge things here. I like to charge camera batteries. I like to charge my my watch, and uh, you can also charge uh, uh, rechargeable batteries as well. We have a few rechargeable batteries we go through here. And uh, also it's the same on my partner's computer here. 
actually just these two USB ports work. It's an older Sandy Bridge era motherboard and it doesn't actually have USB 3 outputs. Getting back to here. The reason why I'm leaving this stuff here is because that's an active project. I'm going to be having that out in the following days and actually using these things. This is my partner's computer. She has the, the two monitors here. Very good setup for a standing desk for her. Uh, quite comfortable and it gets gets her up from sitting, so it prevents her sitting all day because obviously she can just take this uh, table away. I made this table up with my father. That was a good little project to do with him. And um, she can just take this table away and sit if she wants. Otherwise she can stand here and use a computer. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with some more videos shortly. I'm going to be focusing on a Raspberry Pi, uh, possibly some home automation projects, uh, some computer networking backup and server related projects and also some retro computer projects. After all I have this old computer here and I want to use it. That's my favorite computer right there. Uh, so if you enjoy that kind of stuff then stick around I'll have some content coming for you till then thanks bye